There is no fun. What are you talking about? I hate fucking starting the show. I do. I don't give a damn, you hater. No, I, do every, do I do everything. El- I do everything else around here. Why the fuck do I Just have to start the show? Just one time, right? All right. What's up, everybody? Mark report. You don't seem very enthusiastic with it. Like, how can I be enthusiastic with the, after the shit fucking show that we just watched? Restart. It's, it's impossible. God. God. Nah, man. This show was not that good. The show, is that honestly, it? You're not going to restart? No, I'm not going to restart. This show was honestly not so that this good. This is it? This is it. This show is not good. Go- Stop with your... <laughs> this guy, he's, he, 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 he has a fucked up mic for, for like this whole fucking... We've been dealing with this fucking mic this whole week. We've been fucking talking about it and seeing if let this... Just, just, uh, and it, it just keeps just, fucking you know, getting I'll reel, worse. I'll reel, I'll reel, I'll reel the, I'll, give me a second here. I'm, I'll uh, disconnect Everybody, the call and replug it. Yeah, he's going to disconnect the call. This is the definition of broke cunt. And this is exactly Do what I this sound is. better? Do I sound better? You, I'm you sound, you sound, yes, yes, you sound much better. Thank you. If it um, comes back, just let me know and I'll go to the court yeah, out in we'll, the hole and I'm Yeah, plugged. I will let you know if it comes back, for fuck's sakes. This show I'll go was, to the payphone down the road if you want. Can no, do I, I don't think I need you to do that. You sure? Yes, yeah, possible. It's raining outside. I know it's raining. So, I bet this... I bet you have the same opinions. I bet you have the same opinions on this show as I did, because this show was not good. You want to explain the first two matches to everyone? Because uh, I can't remember them. I don't want to explain the first two matches, because I I don't remember them. I'm not going to lie. I had some Bud Lights. Okay, man. All right, the first match was a four-way. The first match was a four-way. The the first match was a four-way. I thought it was just a four-way tag, but then the match kept on going, and it was actually an elimination. Can I say something to the listeners? What? So everyone calling in tonight, trying to get on the phone lines. They're very busy. Uh, our friend here, Richard, cannot seem to uh, get a hold of them to take calls tonight. So we don't know if we're going to be taking calls in about 20 minutes. But apparently we had someone that was there tonight. Uh, I'd love to get him in. We just need to see if we can hook him up. So anyway, back to what you're saying, man. Yeah. So we had a four-way tag team match. I didn't know it was elimination until fucking... Uh... Until they started actually doing the match, and then somebody got pinned. I'm like, oh, that's it, great, this match is over, shit. But no, it was actually four-way elimination between the Headbangers, the Blackjacks, the Godwins, and the Can Air Express. Uh, this match was fucking awful. It was just atrociously boring for a opener at WrestleMania. Uh, they could have did better with this. They probably could have even opened with uh, with uh, Hunter and fucking uh, Gold Dust. They could have easily opened with those two, but they didn't. But yeah, this match was just not fucking good. It started off just like shit. And it was fucking boring. And like, it's, I think the Godwins won. I don't even know, man. The Godwins won. And it was just bad. Like, And I thought, like, I'm so fucked up around this time. Like, I, I really don't remember who's tag champs. And then I realized, oh yeah, Owen and Bulldog. And I just looked at it like, this, these guys are wrestling for nothing. They just put four guys on the fucking ring out there. To open the show and do absolutely nothing. It was just atrocious. What did you think about this first tag match? If you can remember anything. Little bits and pieces of it. Wasn't there much beforehand with Billy Gunn and Flash Funk? No. So I, I heard the reports of. Apparently that was oh, that was the people was, in the arena. That got, was one so. of the dark matches? I, I would have got I would have rather fucking watched that match to open no, the show. I seen Meltzer write that apparently it was a five star. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, Dave. Fucking... So, the tag match, I... I I honestly can't remember much from except Hillbilly Billy Jim. Um, yeah, that's the, basically it. And Brad Shaw and uh, Ever Black Jack. I, I just thought it was shit. Wendell. Why not? Can we just skip to the Sultan? Oh, are you excited about the Sultan? Okay, Rocky might be versus awful. the Sultan. <laughs> this is terrible. This kid sucks. Can, can we skip to the Sultan? Oh, that was awful. Fucking, tell me, first of all, one, 
Rocky sucks. Rightfully so. He fucking sucks. Two. Why the fuck does the Sultan have the Iron Sheik and Bob Someone Ray? said to me he's got to be the new uh, Greg the Hammer Valentine. I don't see it. Man. Who? Who would be the Rocky new Rocky Maivian. Oh, jeez. God, that's all. I, you don't want to be Greg the Gas Tank. He blows. He, he can't fucking wrestle past five minutes. But, yeah, this match was awful. Uh, for some reason, Honky Tonk came on on commentary. I don't know why. Oh my god! But he came no, on. He came. Work, huh? He came on commentary for no. I think it's just because IC champion. Probably collect the money from Jerry. Just like he was the longest IC champion. Yay! But it's '97, and we're gonna fucking see Honky Tonk on commentary. I don't want to see it. I really. I, Man, I, I can't remember if he was a heel or a face on commentary. He, he was a heel. He was, he, he didn't like Rocky. He, he was a heel, but still, it was just garbage. I don't know why. This is something that we needed. Like, I don't know why they thought that. Let's have Honky Tonk on here, because it's Mania. I see champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just... It's Mania, and we all wasted our money. Yeah, yeah, both of these guys... Both of these guys aren't fucking over, and this, it's sad to see that this is actually the fucking IC title picture. The match basically ended in a small... Well, you won't, you, and you won't let everyone know you can't, Yeah, Rock won, but... Rocky's dead. Very happy for him. Yeah, but Rock, yeah, Rocky wins, and then the Sultan... Yeah, shoot, man. He, he's looking good for his age. <laughs> the Sultan comes in and gets his heat right back. He gets to work. The Sultan gets his heat right back, and uh, the worker, the Iron Sheik... Are you being serious? You don't believe him? The, the worker, the Iron Sheik, gets in the ring, and... <laughs> you tell and, me... Him and Bob back <laughs> Man, if I'm being for real, right, who would you rather watch right now? Rocky Maivia or the Sultan or Iron Sheik? I'd rather watch the Iron Sheik, man. That's a star right there. That's guy that gets heel heat. I rather, in this I, right I now. rather he, see. I rather see a ninth, the 1983 match between Bob Backlund and the Iron Sheik. <laughs> What's he doing nowadays? Bob. Well, he was there with the Sultan as well. Besides that, I have no clue what the fuck Bob Backlund does besides <laughs> go on TV and. Have What's he? He does the same gimmick. Can, can you he, believe he's a heel? He's literally doing the same gimmick as fucking Sergeant Slaughter did when he just said, ah, fuck you, America. Can we just say Bob Backlund as a heel doesn't work? No, it did. But just not this heel. I like when he's, he's a like, moron, I like, huh? I like when he's crazy moron Bob Backlund. Like, you know, my chill, my, like, I don't eat marijuana. Have you ever been to the, the Sideway rail station in the Bronx? Loads no. of like Bob Backlund there. Yeah, they do, don't they? Different thing, though. They're, they're different colors, but they act just like them. I think they're on something though. Oh yeah, they're they're definitely on some shit. But besides that, I think Bob Backlund. Uh, uh, I don't eat marijuana. Bob Backlund is fantastic. I I rather see that Bob Backlund. But we're not going to see that anymore. That only lasts like a so. Few months. Hunter finally beat uh, Gold Dust. Anyone yeah. Care? No, the after the, the the crowd went mild. After, after. <laughs> After Hunter. The crowd went mild after the fucking first match. What are you talking about? Yeah, the crowd this went, crowd sucked the cr- tonight. The crowd, no, uh, do you fucking blame them? <laughs> do you blame yeah, them? Yeah, because you fucking paid for these tickets, so fucking make some noise. This isn't make some noise for 1994. Make some noise for the Sultan? If you don't like it, go to WCW then. What are they doing this week? What Wacky they... Racers, 15? I don't know what the fuck WCW. You know what WCW's doing this week? Getting better ratings. <laughs> That's what WCW's doing this week. They're doing some bullshit with the NWO. But besides that, this show, at this point, I thought that this was a disaster. I was just looking at this point of the show. I'm like, are we halfway done? Like, we're almost an hour in the show. And this is what we're getting. But, yeah, Hunter gets his win over Gold Dust. Hunter with China gets his win over Gold Dust. And it's just... It, it was probably the best match so far because Hunter and Goldus can have a better match. It should have opened the show at least. But to be fair, because the first two matches were so garbage, nobody gave a fuck about this match. Besides, yay, China's giving fucking uh, Goldust's bitch a, a bear hug and squeezing the life out of her. Nobody really cared after that or before that, so it didn't really matter. Nothing was fucking happening anyways. Um, funny thing... We get a we get a promo we get a little package a little segment after this match after the match with Gold Dust with Shawn Michaels in the back. Um, for some reason Shawn Michaels doesn't know how to fucking use a computer. Did you see the way he was looking at the computer like it was like? It reminds me of some people that do this show. Oh yeah, does it? How about you do the shit I fucking do? Next would be uh, <laughs> next would be oh god, 
You're getting yeah, yeah. Phillies cut that shit off. Uh, the next match was uh, Mankind and Vader versus uh, Owen and Bulldog, and this is when I realized that Owen and Bulldog had the tag belts. Um, I was actually surprised because I forgot these motherfuckers were even on the card. But the crowd finally got loud for something, I guess. But did you know they had the belts? Oh Jesus Christ! Cut that shit off. I didn't look. I'm glad that the crowd got hyped for something. I'm glad that the crowd actually got excited for something. This match was okay. Uh, we were heading to more better matches now. Because after the next match, we'll talk about it. But yeah, oh, this match was okay. But like, Did you see the phone line? Somebody, you hear the, the, the thing? No. Wait, what happened? I, I, I literally didn't hear what he, just, he fucking said. But yeah, Mankind basically... Is that chinging noise? No, there's there's no chinging noise. And I hope your mic is fucking fixed. Look, I always I always love whenever they do shows with like Owen and Brett because for some reason you know those Stu Hart's gonna be there. So like they cut the I just camera, got a, they cut the camera. I just to got Stu a, Hart. What? I just got one of those uh, messages there. Uh, I think we have someone trying to call him. Yeah, who's trying to fucking call him? Uh, uh, Baron, Baron from uh, Wisconsin. Are you there? Hello. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Hey, man. Hello. Hello, man. What a Quickly, what did you think of tonight? It was very boring tonight, man. Ugh, put me to sleep. Yeah, I don't... I don't right, well, what was your favorite match? Uh, Brett versus Steve Austin. Who did you want to win that? Uh, Steve Austin, because Brett, Brett's being a whiny little bitch. Yeah, I, I, I like I like whiny little bitch, Brett. He's getting... He's getting... He's, he's, it's, 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 it's warming up to me, like... Brett being a little bitch is warming up to me. I will talk about well, I will talk about the annoying shit he did in the main event, which was very annoying. Like I get it, you're trying to be a heel, but this was not needed. But uh, yeah, I, I'm starting to warm up to Brett. Did you let everyone know that uh, Hunter House Hermsley 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 my reading Hermsley he won, so we move on. Uh, oh yeah, we did British Bulldog and Owen Hart. You, you talked about that match yet? My phone was cutting in out there. Yeah, no, we. It was. It was just. It was a good. It was uh, a double count out of Mania. Yeah, that's that was the part that it really upset me. It was like the match was really good. I thought the tag match, the crowd actually got into it, but then we got a fucking double count out. I'm like, really? That, that was absolutely embarrassing. I'm like, really? really this, this is. Are we still I doing this shit? We're still. We're still doing fucking uh, count out finishes at Mania. Like, are you? You want to continue this tag team feud? Like, what are we doing, man? I, I want. I want to skip over this next match because it's too good to talk about just yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll um, talk about this last. The Chicago Street Fight. Uh, now this was a fucking train wreck from start to finish. You know, I like brawls. I don't know who was legal. If there was a legal match, there wasn't. I don't, I don't think it, that there but... wasn't. It was. It was everyone. Everything goes free for all. Uh, I like a good old fashioned brawl in wrestling when it works. Should have done like a Royal Rumble type thing. You know what I mean? Like every like participants, come, but then it kind of turns into war games. Two teams, you know. That's that's why they probably didn't do that. Yeah, and if, <laughs> but basically this this match was a, a I thought it was a, a an all over the place brawl, but it was kind of funny to laugh at. But that's not what they wanted you to do. They wanted you to take it seriously. So you don't think of the sixty dollars you just wasted on it. You know, I try not to think about it. I mean, at least one thing was good. At least. What's it like been at the gravel factory lately? Business picking up? Oh, business is slowly dying. There's nothing else to <laughs> there's nothing else to say besides business is slowly fucking dying. A bit like the thing we watch. Yeah, this company needs to pick it up this year or they're gonna fucking fall flat to the other company. I'm so happy though. On one note that Ahmed Johnson got the win tonight. He really does deserve it. He's a he's a big star. He I guess he could be, but not really. Uh, his, he's got all the makings to be a big star. He has all the makings. He can just easily just fuck it up, though. Like he he has all the makings to fucking be be the man. But let's just hope he doesn't fuck it up. Because I don't know. Because well, here's the thing. This is like this is the first guy that we've seen lately that is jacked. Besides like Bulldog, but even Bulldog had to get small because of the steroid trial. So he's the first guy that we've seen in a while that's that fucking jacked in this company. Like, look at the main event scene before Taker got in and Sid. 
the t- main event scene was Shawn Michaels, fucking Bret Hart, fucking Mankind on occasion. These were small guys going after the world title. And if you're saying that Ahmed Johnson can get up there, it's it, I can see it happening, but I don't know if that's the direction they still want to go. Like I, I feel like they're still teething away from these big, giant guys. Now they got into it more, but it depends if Ahmed Johnson could fit that mold. We're talking... Seat. We're talking two big guys. Was that main event, man? Is it just me? But that was just boring. I was very disappointed. This just this this match showed you that Sid needs somebody to carry him through a match, every match, and Shawn Michaels carried him to two great matches, one at Survivor Series and one at the Rumble, and Sid can't go by himself. And Taker, I thought we were talking about this the other day. We thought that maybe Taker can carry Sid to a decent match, but no, he couldn't, and that's that's just sad to me. I thought Taker maybe could have carried Sid to a very entertaining match, but um, it was just not good. What what made it worse to me, anyways? I know it's character development, but what made it worse to me was Brett's constant fucking interference. He came in three times. I can get that you come in once, maybe twice, but three times during the match. This show was just terrible. And then oh, he's the re- and then he comes in and he's the reason why fucking Sid loses. Oh come on, man! Why are we protecting Sid if we don't even know where he's going after this? <laughs> why are we protecting Sid? Like you want to keep Sid in the main event scene after this match? Boy, you're gonna have a fucking depressing year if that's the case. I don't see that motherfucker staying in this main event scene for any longer. But this leads into a, a Brett Sid feud. Ugh. That gets me fucking. That, that, that's just nasty. I don't know what to say, man. Undertaker done very well tonight for what he had to do. But overall. He couldn't do it. Though. He couldn't awful. carry Sid. He couldn't carry a bad wrestler to a decent match. <laughs> he just couldn't but do it. But it goes to now match the night, which. It's funny because they actually went and a circle outside the ring. Brad Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ken Shamrock, special uh, guest referee, I think he was. <sighs> this Austin match. Did out. He didn't. And <clears throat> uh, I guess this is, uh, we, we rarely see this in wrestling. We haven't seen this shit a, a lot at all. But this was the slow build to a double turn. Brett turns heel because he didn't let go of Brett. I mean, he didn't let go of Austin. And we saw that he came out three times during the show, the main event. And Austin turns you know, face because he didn't quit. Really done that. Like, it was only like 15 minutes since the main event. So it was like... Yeah, like we didn't I, see... A, like we, just, like, like we didn't see enough of no Brett. Sense, like we didn't see enough of Brett. Like I know we're supposed to hate him. Man, we, we, Brett but was like, supposed to be all fucked up as well. Brett, yeah, like Brett, beat Austin, I thought, but he wasn't all hell. Yeah, it's, it's not like he, Brett didn't go He's through. He's coming to the ring. And then you got Sean on commentary as well, by the way. By the way, we have... The camera, or for the main event at least. <laughs> yes. The main event, we're still talking about that in a way. The main event, Sean's on commentary and they keep on focusing back to Sean. I think at one point he's dancing on the table. This shit's embarrassing. This shit's man. fucking aw- like the fact. This is just Vince's love for Sean. This is Vince's just like, oh, I fucking love you, Sean. Oh, oh, oh. Complete and, disrespect to and, anything happening. And in disrespects the ring. Taker and Sid, even though the match was shit. You're not gonna do it any favors by panning the fucking camera to Shawn Michaels every second for so he can talk about his quote unquote bad knee. Even though five minutes before the fucking and they, match, he's fucking dancing in the ring. Driving. Yeah, like he's fucking dancing in the ring. Yeah, so much for a bad his legs in and out. So much for you losing your smile two months ago. Like, come on, man. Like, this it, this looks like a fuck. This whole the whole like last forty five minutes of the show just felt like a clown show. <laughs> it just felt like everybody was coming I out this. Like it, felt like a, it, it felt like a circus. It felt like a fucking circus. Like I like I bought a fucking ticket to a goddamn. Local circus that came in and fucking the gir- like the giraffes and the elephants were coming out just fucking around with each other. Like this, the show was just not fucking good um, overall. But at least there was one really good thing to talk about, which was Brett and um, Brett and Austin. Who cares though? Because uh, Brett won, and Brett went and fucked about in the main event, and nobody cared. So well, people. I really mean, the match. The... About it. I can't say that. 
They did a fucking. They did one. They did, they did well, something. He came out and then got clowned by. Uh, well, Dark he's Taker a. Well, because he. We, we, so. we get that he's a heel, which I thought him coming out the first time was fine. Yeah, but he just had a brutal but, match with Austin that makes him very serious. And, I just yeah, don't and then he came him. out and just said, "I want the title after." And then this you got match. Sean just taking the pisses. Sean's clowning this man. Yeah, Sean's clowning this man. Like we'll probably in the future we'll probably look back at that Brett and Austin match and say this was really good, but then we'll have to remember. Yeah, nah, this show was I don't, pretty. Nah, shit. I don't think so. I think I think this mania is that bad, man. I don't think anyone will be remembering anything. And uh, well, we'll see how Austin plays off after this, because we know where Brett's leading. We know Brett's leading to a heel run. We we haven't we didn't hear from Austin until after this whole show, so we'll hear from him on Monday and see whatever the fuck happens with Austin. But besides that, that's basically the rest of the show. That was our synopsis on this bullshit monstrosity. Uh, nothing was good at all besides that one match, and that's and that's the briefest summary anybody can fucking give you about this show. Shit match, shit match, shit match, shit match. Nobody cares about nobody cares about anything that's happening in the ring. The crowd doesn't care. Uh, fucking a hey, Jr. Jerry and Vince try to fucking do anything. It's not working. And the only thing that everybody really cared about, and fucking JR is over here super fucking selling this shit like he's a goddamn salesman. Austin and Brett, this motherfucker was like losing his voice over that match. But besides that, the show overall was just not quality. And it's a mania. And if they keep on going this route with their manias being this fucking rough, then there's going to be a problem with this company. Which we already know there is, because they're losing to WCW for weeks on end. So... We'll see if they can bounce back after this show or with anything. We'll see what the fuck they can do. But before I want to go, do you think heel Brett would actually be decent? Because they've been playing... That's what the main event was tonight, no. Well, no, fuck the main event, because that had nothing to do with his him in, in, in the ring. His... We just have Shawn Michaels back. Can we have Shawn Michaels back? No, because he's crying. He lost his smile with well, his I don't mate. care. Well, he clearly didn't lose a smile. He was having a good time out there tonight. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's the drugs. I, I, I was wanting to end this review on a positive note. So I know you and the kids at the moment, I mean, you're trying to find something to entertain them. Have you are you, have you seen this movie yet? Cats, cats Don't Dance. Cats Don't Dance. This is this is a joke. I don't know what the fuck that is. There's probably, you never heard of it? There's probably much better... There's probably much better fucking... There's probably Do you know what I seen a couple weeks ago? You ever seen the movie Crash? Crash? No, I didn't see the movie Crash. What's what's the movie Crash about? This guy gets into a serious car accident. He's a TV director and he discovers oh, this weird yeah. subculture. Of... He crashed, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's Fucking a really good ugh. film. I, I would recommend it. Ugh. Um, Sounds shit. I could really man. leave us on. It was a good movie review. The what are you f- talking about? Shit. Oh, it's a decent film. Anyone out there? Um, I'd recommend Crash. Give it a watch. It's... It came out, I think, technically last year, but I think it got re-released here, so... Well, that just shows you our opinions on this show. Go watch the movie. James Bullard, isn't it? <laughs> That's, this, is, this, is, this is our opinion on the show. Go watch the movie Crash. Good night, everybody.